Everybody's talking about game staging, but what does that actually mean? Well, we simply mean the management of audio levels going through each stage in our recording or mixing system. It's really very simple. Mixbus and Mixbus 32C actually use a floating point mix engine, which means it's incredibly difficult to get the undesirable type of clipping, digital clipping, within the software. But there are three areas that we need to make sure that we're not creating digital clipping to ensure our audio comes in and goes out at maximum quality. Number one. Input. Yes, you can create digital clipping on the input to your audio interface if you record a signal in too hot. The audio interface just can't encode certain voltages, and as a result, it flat tops your waveform. Now, there's some clever software around that can kind of rescue that, but that's not something you want to be doing. So, if you possibly can, make sure that your signal levels aren't going into the red on your audio interface and aren't clipping on your waveforms. Number two, external hardware inserts. Yes, it's worth keeping an eye on the signal levels going out of your audio interface and then coming back in if you're using maybe some vintage gear, some external reverbs, things like that. Just make sure that you're not clipping at those stages either. Number three, export. Yes, we can create clipping when we export a file because we might have set up our mixer too loud. If you look at the export dialog, on the left you'll see two numbers, peak level and true peak. If either of these go red, we just need to pull down our master fader a tiny little bit, and that will usually solve the problem. Over in Mixbus, we have a region recorded, and the keen-eyed amongst you will notice here we have a little bit of clipping. I want you to watch that throughout the course of the next few moments, because you'll notice that even though we're changing the gain, we are not repairing clipping. Region gain. Each region has a gain associated with it. We can select the region, right-click, and choose gain, and there's lots of different options there, but I prefer to use the shortcuts, so I'm just going to bring this down a little bit. Now, if you want to get really technical, you can select individual syllables, we can split them up into individual regions, and we can level match those accordingly, giving a more consistent sound to our vocals, perhaps. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Next up, envelope gain. Yes, each region can have an envelope applied to it. It's like automation. So let's say I want to just dip this first hey. I just simply click, create four points, and then I can pull down the area on that hey. So we can have this. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Brilliant. In the mixer, each channel has a trim control, which applies a gain change before we hit these processors. Now, we've got plus or minus 20 decibels, and this can be really useful for just grabbing and making changes while you're doing a mix. It's much easier to operate our fader around the zero decibel mark rather than right down at the bottom here. The trim control is particularly useful for prepping our audio, so our fader sits in a nice sweet spot around this area, and we have much easier control of it. For most of our finer work and leveling, we're going to be using the faders. And yes, we can automate these with various automation modes, but what's really cool about Mixbus is that you can move the fader position to wherever you want in the signal chain. Now, that's not something I use very often, but when I do, it's very useful. Compressor makeup gain. Sometimes we still have problems by the point that we reach the compressor. Maybe we're applying very aggressive compression. Maybe our signal levels were too low to begin with. You can use the makeup gain of the compressor to bring your signal up to a reasonable level. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. And let's not forget mix bus send levels. Yes, maybe my vocal is super loud. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's going through mix bus one. Well, even with those problems, we can still trim down the send to Mixbus 1. And set it to a reasonable yeah, level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And let's not forget that all of these controls exist within every single channel, every single Mixbus, and our master channel.